Welcome to the World of Warcraft Survival Guide for Tides of Vengeance, Battle for Azeroth's first major content update. In this video, we'll take a look at the new features and changes coming to World of Warcraft as the struggle between Alliance and Horde intensifies. First up, new story-driven quest lines and world quests are available all over Kul Tiras and Zandalar, as both factions launch new assaults on one of the three zones controlled by their enemies. Every day, look on your world map for an area that's under assault and get yourself to the front lines. Your faction needs you. A new chapter in the war campaign is now available. Head to your ship in Boralus or Zoldazar to rejoin your faction's war efforts. The conflict over the home of the Night Elves has reached a fever pitch, and new quest lines will lead you to the all-new Battle for Darkshore. In this new warfront, you'll unlock access to powerful hero transformations that give you temporary abilities themed around your role as a tank, healer, or damage dealer. Scouts have discovered two new destinations for island expeditions, the Vrykul land of Jorindal and the Gilnean town of Havenswood. These, as well as the previous island expeditions, now feature new enemies, achievements, events, items, and vendors. Heritage Armor is now available for two mighty races, the Dwarves and the Blood Elves. Available to these races at level 120, look for the quest, Keep Your Feet on the Ground in Ironforge, or The Pride of the Cinderai in Silvermoon, and get started rediscovering your heritage. Keep an eye out for new additions to many professions, including new gear, new feasts for your raid and dungeon groups, inscription contracts for increased Honorbound and Seventh Legion reputation, and new craftable pets. Speaking of pets, you're called to an all-new pet dungeon experience. Go meet Micro Zooks just outside Nomragon and earn four new companions, the Mechanical Cockroach, the Leper Rat, Mechantula, and everyone's best friend, Alarmo Dog. And that's just the beginning. Early next year, we'll meet you here again to talk about updates to the Azerite system, the start of Season 2 of PvP and Mythic Keystone Dungeons, and of course, the Battle of Dazaralor Raid. Until then, thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the field of battle.